Welcome back to the Narcissist Bag of Tricks. Tonight's topic is mirroring. Mirroring is actually a normal part of regular life. You're in high school, you see a pretty girl, you've never asked a girl out before, and you wonder if you should, and you contemplate, and your friend tells you, well, you can not ask her and not have her, or you can ask her and possibly have her, and if she says no, well, then you're no worse off than you are now. So then you take it to the next step and say, okay, I'll do it, and you ask her. And guess what? She says, yes. Well, success. So you agree to take her to the ice cream shop and she sits down at the table and she crosses one leg over the other and says things to you well you might then in turn cross your leg over the other and talk to her too well this is innocent normal mirroring this is not uh, anything cluster B at all the difference is the cluster B people or the narcissists or whoever they use it on a whole different level. Whereas in this example, you're mirroring to simply ease the uh, nervousness of an intense social interaction. You're not doing anything mean or deceptive. You're simply trying to match the behavior, which we've studied in psychology class. It's normal for people that, like, if I'm sitting like this talking to you, you might then sit and, and talk to me like this. It's normal. It's nothing to do with deception. But when you're dealing with the cluster B monsters, here's how they do it in contrast. You are a devout Christian. You praise the Lord every day. And this cluster B monster sees you who is an atheist and hates the church hates Jesus and worships, worships Baphomet. Well, let's say this creature sees that you're rich or something and decides, hmm, I'm going to get that money. Well, this type of mirroring is fraudulent, which means he may come to you and say, hey, baby, you're pretty. And you might say, oh, thanks. And then he'll hear you say, well, I can't do anything with you. I've got to go to church tomorrow. Well, he hates church, but guess what his face does? Because what? He wears a mask. So he'll be like, oh, church, I'd love to go with you. I love church. I'm a devout Christian. Well, you see, he's mirroring you, but it's fraudulent. It isn't like the first example. It's designed to get you to submit under false pretenses. So to summarize, in a normal, non-abusive, non-toxic situation, mirroring is just a way to ease the pressure of nervousness. But when dealing with a manipulative, cluster B toxic monster, the same process is used in order to get like in that story, the second one, if she knew he hated the church, she wouldn't even give him a second thought. So the deal here, the difference is intent. If the intent is neutral or helpful, fine, normal. But if the intent is to deceive and to get things you should, he shouldn't have, it is toxic. And I've uh, witnessed a few occasions of this mirroring and it even goes beyond just mirroring you. It can go as far as mirroring your pets. Like they're coming into your home to brainwash you, brainwash your pets, and get whatever it is they're after under false pretenses. For example, I've got two little doggies. And I relate to my doggies a certain way. I talk to them a certain way. For example, look at you, sweet little angel. She's daddy's baby. 
How did you get to be so cute? Let me see what your body looks like. Look at that belly. She's so pretty. How did you get to be such a pretty girl? Mwah, mwah, mwah. She models and play dog. She's a nude model. What I've noticed on a few occasions is the cluster B monsters I've attracted into my life, they will watch my interactions with such children as Jade, and they will mirror the exact words that I use to her. And I'm guessing it's because they're trying to take over the entire household, and if they speak to her in a way that I speak to her, then she'll feel comfortable. I mean, these people are diabolical because they have their own pets and they don't treat them like that, but they treat mine the way I do, and it's another example of mirroring, which I just recently uncovered. There are more examples, such as I kind of noticed, but kind of dismissed way back in the beginning of the 11-year fiasco. Now I think back on it and think, those clues were all right there, and I missed them. Well, I didn't know what I know now. It's like you reach a higher level of awareness and realize this world is not full of wonderful people who just want to make things better for you. The example I have is this love bomber and I moved in together after being very uh, cautious and deciding to go ahead and step over to the next level. And I specifically recall it was Valentine's or Valentine's Day after we met, and he gave me a disc of Dead or Alive, Nucleopatra, and he gave me a card. And the card, I opened it, and it said whatever the cards say. And then inside, there was a handwritten, Happy Valentine's Day, and a name. And that was it. Well, I don't do crap like that. I have a brain and feelings and thoughts. So when I gave this person a card, it had like a paragraph in it, like, I'm so glad we met each other. I'm having a really good time with you. I think it's great that you like this. I think it's great that you like that. I hope we have many more Valentine's Days in the future and blah, blah, blah. Because that's what's coming from the inside, the heart. Because I have one, I get, or I had one. Hmm. But I just thought it was strange how the other card was just kind of like generic with somebody else's phrases and a name. So, I just didn't know what I was looking for, didn't know what red flags were. So, I, so then eventually, another holiday came up, like a birthday or a Christmas or something, and the same person gave me another card, of which I opened, and <gasps> to my surprise, it had words in it, almost like he had taken the card I sent for Valentine's Day and like rewrote it because the wording was like almost identical and I read it and felt instantly familiar with it thinking oh wow and that's how the mirroring works because if you don't know it's mirroring you'll be tempted to think wow this person thinks just like what I how I do and you won't think like oh well that first card didn't say that it's only after he saw my card that his says this but if you bring that stuff up, you'll be told, oh, you're being paranoid. I was in a hurry for the first card. This is me for the second. It's not. And these people are deceptive. So, and they know you're on to them. And they can keep a straight face. So you'd think you're crazy to believe they're lying, even though they are. So that's another mirroring example. And again, it's, it's pathological. It's not normal mirroring. So that's one of their bag of trick tricks they play 
which usually happens in the beginning. And what also ends up happening with this is they keep this stuff up, like they raise the level higher and higher. And if you're apprehensive, you eventually will probably brainwash yourself into thinking, you know what, who am I to be skeptical? He's done nothing but good things. However, if you take the next step and say, you know what, every time I'm with you I'm happy, let's move in together and get a house together or something, you're trapped. Because they're doing this stuff on purpose like non-stop and you you watch it and think to yourself that must be exhausting I would never put that much effort but they have a goal in mind and so they mirror 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 on the wall who's the not nastiest of them all and um, the thing is with your brain your brain starts to lose a little bit of its uh, skepticism and you start to think well I don't have any reason to think that this person's evil even though it seems too quick and you lure yourself into a false sense of security where you think wow I'm just being too protective of myself this person is everything I ever wanted who oh I should have realized sooner and they get their hooks sunk in you they get you in a place where you it's not very easy to escape like a mortgage or a contract and then what you find out eventually or later after the love bombing stage because we're engaged in the idealization you can just mention a hint of something that you need that you're not even asking for and they'll come running with a remedy but and then all of a sudden things stop making sense like they had before because remember you sneezed in the phone once and he ran over with some cold medicines for you well here you are now uncovering situations with him directly that he did that do not add up and when you express your concern thinking you know what I think you went to that strip club last night and you stayed there all night well all of a sudden that person who is there for your every need switches they become someone else and tell you that you're imagining things you're being too sensitive and they become like a different person and you're wondering, okay, I've already established this baseline of anything I need, he solves. And now I need something, and I need him more than before. Because before, I was just saying, oh, I've got a headache. I didn't ask or want anything. But now you're actually specifically saying, look, I don't like what happened last night. I think that you did something you shouldn't have, and I want an explanation. And you're not going to get it. You will be told... You're crazy. You're a paranoid. What about when you did whatever? And it's just that, that's what drives you into the cognitive dissonance because you didn't get to this point without realizing or thinking that, okay, I guess I can trust this person as you inch along. And then this stuff happens where you see evidence of panties in the back seat. Oh, those were thrown as a joke or some lie. And it's just, you know what? It's fake. And because they have no internal brake system or empathy or any type of conscience, they'll, they'll insist. Some stripper drove by and threw that panty in the car, and he just didn't clean it up. Anyway, that's enough for, the, for this one, but bag of tricks, mirror ring, look out for it. And again, don't address it, just watch it and monitor and come to your own conclusion. <laughs>